over eighty percent of Lagosians believe that Lasma has no authority to arrest. That the ass is to control traffic. Traffic to make the vehicle move. They don't have authority. Mm. General manager of Lagos Traffic Management Authority. Ola Likon. Bakari Oki. Bakari Oki. Is live with me in the studio. We are not looping on phone. He's live sitting directly opposite me. And as we are talking, I'm looking into his eyeballs. And I guess he's equally looking at my eyeballs because <laughs> we can make contact now. <laughs> so he's going to spend some time with us. He has much to say about the control of traffic mm. in Lagos. And I want you to please, if you have any questions, you will be free. But don't ask those questions that will compare me to step you down. I coordinate this program. I moderate it. I have the right also to step your question down if I believe your question is not going normally. Because... If you know what it cost us in time of begging, not money, but the time of continually calling, begging, to bring my guests to the studio, you will not want to ask a question of personal vendetta. So that is not allowed. But any question, whatever you want to know, mostly for those of you who believe that last man has no authority to arrest. Hmm. I will explain that. Please, you can ask the questions because this is the head of the authority of last man that is with me. What he cannot explain to you, I'm afraid, not even legal state governor will want to explain it to you because legal state governor had severed this one to him and is tackling many other issues. So please ask your question. Then, if you have suggestion on the possible way the work can be improved, he's here to learn. He will take it away. Table with his management. And it is legal that will be better for it at the end of the day. Mm. Over 80% of Lagosians believe that Lasma has no authority to arrest. That the ass is to control traffic. Traffic to make the vehicle move. They don't have authority. Mm. And many people circulated infamous rumor, in windows, things that are not in existence. About six years ago, I was compared to throw the facts to the public because I was tired of receiving calls on air telling me, can you imagine that last man took a vehicle away to where? They don't have the authority. So the chief executive officer of last man then, a retired assistant inspector general of police, Chris Olaki, of blessed memory, was the first last man, man that I now brought in. Please sit down here. And I told him all the laws that permit your operation bring everything in books. Yes. It was after that day. It was after that day that most negotiators now know that the people were not acting extraordinary out of what the law passed that the law permitted them doing whatever they are doing. Mm. So, GM, please, sir, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Legosians. It's good to hear your voice. You're time. welcome, sir. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Good it, morning. It's, it's nice to meet you in person as well. Uh, I, I, I want to believe that uh, uh, my name is God in Itaki Webu, known on air as the Guru. It is never, never, either at uh, child naming, my father did not make me sick of naming me Oliver Twist. Twist. <laughs> I am not Oliver Twist. But yeah. permit me to extract from you a promise that this is not going to be one off time call. Mm. That from time to time, when we need you to please come and help us to talk to our people, that 
you will not deny us too much. By the grace of Almighty God. All right. Thank you very we'll much. always Shall answer we? you, sir. Thank you very, very much. It's now time for us to take your comments and your reactions. Uh, Ogaguru has given us the permission to go ahead with that. Uh, welcome you think back. I'm not willing to withdraw the permission now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will respect you, so go ahead. All right. Let me start with this one. Um, Aya from First Tax says, uh, when will Asma have a three-digit help number instead of having the long private number all the time? With available technology, why is Lasma still wearing Mufti in downfalls to catch errant personnel? Why can't they wear body cams or have a website for public complaints with video and pictorial evidence? And that is Ayo from first uh, Please, uh, GM, you, you may have to be noting them down because mm. let okay. them be accumulated before you answer them. Okay. And thank God you have... Uh, man who has come in to guarantee your safety. <laughs> <laughs> so when they accumulate, so you just get little time to answer that together. Go ahead. Alfred from Ikoi says, Good morning, um, the Guru Odalo and the Lasma boss. Um, please help us to draw the attention of the uh, appropriate authority to the traffic light at the end of St. Gregory Road into Awolowo Road. The light is faulty, but the Ones on both sides of our Awolawa roads works. So most of the time, it's always a near accident for those coming from St. Gregory into Awolawa Road. And please, if Lasma can position his staff there to help control traffic pending when the right authority fixes the broken traffic light. Thank you. That's Alfred from Ikoyi. Uh, I think, is it not this intersection here? You know, I... I, I, I Seem to relate, yeah. All right, good morning, Daddy Guru and Alaluwa. Our Chinedu from Oregon. I want to ask our guest in the studio what he has to say about Owo Lasma that the area boys collect on their behalf at the bus stop. Mm. Uh, can you please? Can you come? Oh, is it all bus stops in Lagos or where? You should have given yes, that so information. Yes, so if there are specific bus stops, if you know any bus stop where this Owo Lasma is collected, please um, send a text message and let us have that. I am quickly going to take this voice note as well. All right, let's have it. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Lasma in the Lasma Piaru, the pro in the house. And my name is Henry, writing you from VI. Last time I ran Lagos Island, I was driving. So I was, I think I was missing my way. So I just stopped over, wind down to ask people on the, along the road that I'm looking for so and so address. As I was asking them, then seen a, a Korokwe bus filled with last month officials double cross me, uh, accosted me that I'm causing obstruction on the road. Now, why am I parked here? I told them I was looking for an address. I even showed them my phone, the address I'm looking for. They didn't want to hear. They didn't want to listen to me. They took me to their surreal office. You know, after all pleading and pleading and pleading, I parted away with 20,000 naira. I pleaded with even the um, old mature woman that was in their office. The woman was just sending me away, asking me to get that if I don't want to pay. You know, and they parted away with 20,000 naira. I said I have to pay vulcanizer to pump my tire. I have to pay uh, money to open gates for me at, at the Asura office over there. It's terrific. Man, please, Daddy the Guru, mm-hmm. he said me as a man, he's such a new road. What do man, what does someone do? In case you are you know, a place you don't know the road, you can't you ask anymore. Okay. Thank you for that contribution. Why, why, why the man, why the GM will answer you? I would suggest that when you have such, I'm not supposed to be doing this too much. Always, but last month is my friendly organization. It's my friend it's okay. as an organization. It's a friendly organization. I do it for last month. I do it for Loma too. Okay. And sometimes I do it for the police force. So such facts. Get the details of the facts across. You can get it directly to the public relations director of last month, Traffic Adebayo, because all the telephone number we leave everything before we go but if you are finding it difficult if you are sure of your fast get them across to me then i will send it but don't for what to present it as a fact now will be cross-checked if it is a lie you know what it means <laughs> so let's get that done he will answer you i'm not holding him go ahead and i may ask when you mean fact the name of the person you are dealing with 
the na- locations, the no, specific names, and all of that. Story, that uh-huh. was That's it now. To all of the details. Now, um, let us get to this. To good morning, Mr. Guru and all in the studio. Kaidi from the UK. Please, my question to the Lasma GM is that what is the synergy between the outfit and the vehicle licensing outfit? I mean, maybe the VIO. Aha. Mm, the v- uh-huh. With the issue of improper residential addresses and other poorly acquired statistics at archives, how will your outfit track traffic offenders easily? What about interstate vehicles? How do you get them fined? Mm, okay, that is the question all the way from. I, who is not an employee of last month, I, I probably will get an answer, but it, it will come from him. Yeah. John, one more before he has two minutes to answer this one. Good morning, Daddy Guru and Tiola and the listening public. Uche is my name from Bariga constituency. My question to the last month boss this morning is this Supposing a commercial boss with the traditional yellow color is going from Uju Elegba to Mao 12 on charter or going from Mount 12 to Ujolegba, can such a bus make use of the expressway since it is not stopping at any bus stop in between? I am asking this question, sir, because several times your men would mount at different points along Ikorodu Road to contravene commercial vehicles and in the process causing heavy traffic congestion. It's taking out. All right. uh, there are more, but well, let's no, continue, drink it. Continue. Okay, continue. Oh, all right, there are more. All right, um, good morning, Daddy Guru Laulua and the guests in the studio. This is Heidi from CMS Book. Please, the way the last... CMS Bookshop, maybe oh. you want to see. Oh, I, I guess. Yeah, Please, the way the last ma are harassing we commercial workers, I mean, commercial, on Awulawa Road is unbearable. Even if Claire well to drop passengers on walkway without causing commotion. I guess he's saying that even if they just try to drop passengers without I causing... I forgot that he's talking to us at the age of Awolo Warudu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. to drop passengers on walkway without causing commotion, they will arrest you and give you a ticket of 50,000 naira. Why he's are... talking on behalf of the Ikuru, Ikuru quiz. Yes, uh, Ikuru I guess. They will never park before they drop their passengers and pick their passengers. They don't even stop at designated bus stop. They don't have they, anything. They, like that. they, they stop park. indiscriminately. But while we attend to it, please continue. Okay, so he said, um, why are we discomforting ourselves in this country? Let's fear God, though. Hello to the wonderful lady in the studio and to our big daddy. My name is Biodo from AIT Road. I would like to ask how LASMA carry out their recruitment process because for <laughs> some times now, I have been looking forward to seeing the applications. Uh, public publicized, but I don't see it anywhere. All of a sudden, we will see it in the news that new recruits are being trained. I am interested in being a LASMA officer. I studied transport management, and I know one or two things I can do to minimize Iano Ekpaja early morning traffic. Hmm. That is Biodo from EIT Road. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Add one more, then they will answer. Before we move. Good morning, Daddy Guru, Sir Anolalua, and the LASMA officials. Uh, Daddy Guru, please help me ask the last officials in the studio. If the police investigation says it was not last officials that killed the two sisters as a result of them chasing a vehicle as usual, who did? Two, why are last officials on the roads always dragging the steering wheel with the driver of a car? And why do they always carry POS machines and would not That's agree? Uh, and will not agree that a traffic offender should go to their office for any traffic offense he or she might have committed. Is the POS owned by LASMA? Three, why do LASMA only arrest and harass private car owners and they don't arrest or harass a commercial bus driver who also committed the same traffic offense, so to say? Why are they always after private cars? Thank you. This is from um, Jenny from oh, Festac. Okay, let us package it there for the first uh, for the first uh, round. Mm. I think uh, because uh, because of uh, this discussion, yes, sir. I, w- I was supposed to have gone off air by now, but okay. we agreed to have a located uh, so that uh, the people will enjoy you and you will enjoy them. Uh, on the question of uh, because if he kiss the Freddy himself, that might look suspicious. On the question of the two sisters that were killed, I saw the police report that says Loma, I mean Lasma, was never involved. I saw the police report. 
and I spoke with the Commissioner of Police, Lagos State, about the matter. But, sir, answer the... Thank you, sir. But you just have to be as brief as I know. Yes, yeah, sir, thank you. The first one, about the short coat, mm. I want to assure the, the Lagosian that had brought our attention into that, yeah, we are working on it very soon, before the end of the first quarter of next day, mm. we should be able to come up with okay. short code. Okay. Well, I thank him, him, him. I thank him so much. Secondly, on the issue of the traffic lights around the Road. Mm. By, uh, uh, by St. Gregory. Yes, we are, aware, we are aware of it. And the units at the Ministry of Transportation, they are equally working to fix it. Be rest assured, in the next two or three days, it should come back to life. Thank you. Then okay. the third one, about the whole last month mm. at the various bus stop, I want to say this. Nothing of such okay. is ongoing. Okay. About three months ago, we apprehended a, an, an, an NURT staff member around K2 okay. doing such solely on his own. Okay. No last month, after much investigation, when he was arrested and taken to the Lagos State Police Command, after much investigation, he was doing it on his own. He and, admitted that. Yes, and he has been prosecuted. Okay. Under my watch, nothing of such will happen. Okay. I love that language. Under my watch. So if anyone is tasked over last month, should they blow the whistle and report? Yes, that's to... why we have the toll free line. Mm -hmm. Also, Ola Olua from VI made mention of his experience as Sura office. If I will, I will retrieve his number, from Madam for leaving the studio, I will put a call to him personally. Then I will invite him to my office. We are going to cross all the T's and all the high. Okay. And whosoever is found culpable should be ready to leave the agency. That's good. Mm. Then on the synergy between LASMA and VIS and MVA, we have a robust and a cordial relationship mm. with them. Whenever we have issues of it and run, we always go to them and they provide us with detailed info Yes. Which will give to the police to track whosoever is involved. Mm. Then on data collation about interstate vehicles, Lagos State government, especially the Ministry of Transportation, is working with Ogun State and some other Western state government mm. too mm. on how to collate and have a robust data system, even beyond the Western region. And I'm very sure they are talking to Abuja and some Eastern state too. Mm on this global data collation. Then on commercial bus, at Ojo Elegba. Ojo Elegba. I didn't get that. Commercial bus, at Ojo Elegba. Okay, making use of the express. Mm. Yes. This commercial bus, you and I will agree that these people are a menace in the States. I, if you permit me, I'll quickly share an experience with you. Like two months ago, I went into a joint operation. The Kai Marshal General of the state, Major Cole, was with me. Likewise, I have some few policemen from Oko 20. Likewise, the, likewise Loma. Mm. We mm. went on a joint operation to decongest Idumota and those driving in a direction prohibited with by Loma. One way. Yes, Loma. Ah. Because we wanted to sanitize Idumota too. Okay. <laughs> Apart from apprehending vehicles. Oh, no, that, that was why I, I have, have a lot of complaints <laughs> against Loma on that. <laughs> that, was, that was why I have the car Marshal General yeah. with me. The essence yeah. of the trader, especially at that route, mm. Broad Street, Idumo Tanya, and all sorts. That place so, on getting place. to the ascent of that bridge leading mm. to Idumo mm. the Kata Bridge, we saw a downfall driving in the direction prohibited by law. We have a more than 30 vehicles lined up. I was in, the, I was in front. Immediately, it saw us. He almost fell into the river with all the passengers. Wow. I had to stop all the policemen that they shouldn't run after him. I didn't mean anything has happened. The story will have changed. Yes. Nobody will say the guy drove against traffic again. Mm. All they will be saying is Lasma that is running or trying to apprehend them. The kind of the, that is a part of the training we'll be giving our men mm. on how to at all times. Be, be discretional and prioritize safety. Mm. Mm. In apprehending a commercial bus in the States, in Danford to be precise, we are contending with the 14 passenger, the driver, mm. and the conductor. Mm. That's why you, you see my careful. men, they are always careful. The highest they will do 
whenever they see that their strength is not enough to appraise such infractions, for them to gather pictorial evidence. And at the end of the day, at our comfort zone, when we, sh when we are sure that, we are, that our strength is good to take them, mm. that's why we stop them on this place at times to appraise them. People will not know that we have a substantial and a concrete pictorial evidence mm. against traffic infraction that they've committed. Mm. Mm. And one of the one of the one of the ob ob observation was that we we do more of, we impound more private vehicles than commercial buses. I beg to disagree with such a person. Mm. My research and statistics department, mm. we have a collection of apprehended vehicles from January to September, and from January to September, last month has been able to impound eleven thousand three hundred and seventy six vehicles, and out of this. 7,336 happen to be commercial buses. Wow. This will tell you we, 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 we impound and we apprehend more of these commercial buses. As I said, the ultimate thing is for my men to be safety conscious. Not only the safety, not only their own safety, but the safety of the passengers, the driver, even the conductor in the vehicle is paramount to us. Mm -hmm. We are always careful in dealing with them because they always tend to misbehave. Majority of them drive under the influence of alcohol and other narcotic drugs. Mm. Let me ask a question. Yes, sir. <coughs> you operate all Lagos routes. Yes, sir. Please, my two to our papa on the three main lanes. As we talk, if you leave. You are coming from Oshudi. By the time you are approaching my two, you will see vehicles. A lot of them, all commercial. Oh, no, most of them commercial. Say 80% commercial. Driving against traffic. Either headed to uh, Oshudi from my papa or headed to our papa from Oshudi. This cannot be disputed. This is a factual thing. I personally even have uh, video recording and call and call them. Uh, the question is, why, why, uh, why, why is that so? Yes, as I, as I said, sir. And thank God that you came here today because I'm inviting those that are concerned. I'm inviting the police. I'm inviting the court marshal and to, because it's a terrible thing. Go on. Yes, sir. I let me give you a scenario, sir. It happened around July. Mm. We have a zone. That is around that that happened to be the coverage area that's mm. that is in charge of that area. Mm. Their patrol train intercepted a commercial bus mm. around Sele after Rainbow mm. coming towards Yanosolo mm. on their space lane driving against traffic. Mm. In the course of stopping or trying to apprehend that downfall, mm. he, 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 he when he was trying to escape, mm. he had to damage about three or four private vehicles. Mm. He ran. Mm -hmm. They couldn't apprehend him. Do you believe that the owner of the cars descended heavily on that patrol team? Mm. They almost killed one of my last month officials, if not for the intervention of the people that I call around on phone mm. for them to safeguard my men. Mm. What I'm trying to say is this. Everybody knows that what is bad is bad. The law is the law. Mm. But when things happen like that, should, people should always, people shouldn't allow their emotions to affect their sense of judgment. Mm. Fine, in the course of apprehending, their, their, their vehicles were damaged. Safety is paramount. Such cases, such scenario on no show, the Papa Express Road, once in two or three months, we always go there massively. We we'll make sure that our strengths are very, very heavy on ground. Mm -hmm. Before we go for such operations, we are always careful about the domino effect or whatever the negative effect that will come as a result of their illicit activities. Okay. Hmm. Would it, could it be an opportunity that you have a synergy with, for example, uh, the task force, the Lagos State Task Force, uh, and make sure that this type of menace is stopped once for all? Because if you wait for three months, what is happening on that road on daily basis? If you wait for three months, is that not tacitly encouraging them? 
we have we have a very good collaboration with the task force mm. and so many at times we've done joint operation yes that was one that were done in Ikeja, Iyanopaja, and Lagos and all sorts we we'll call it we we'll call it make sure that the the operation is frequent mm. but let me remind you sir do you remember what happened to a task force inspector about two or three weeks ago at Dagboju mm. when he when he was trying to apprehend a vehicle that drove against traffic mm. so safety is paramount to us sir mm. But we, I assure you, we're not going to rest on our hours. Mm. We'll make sure that we we'll nip whatever their excesses or their menace in the board. Mm. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Yeah.